Hello innovators and welcome back. Today we will discuss some of the programming basics and write our first program, so stay with us. In the previous tutorial we discussed electricity basics and the simplest electric circuit. Today we upgrade our circuit by adding a toggle switch, so we can turn on and off our light bulb just like you're doing at home with the wall switch. What actually happens? When the switch is open, the ailerons cannot travel and the current will not flow. By closing the switch, we close the circuit and the light lights on. Pretty obvious, right? Now imagine you want to turn on and off your lamp every 2 seconds, just like Christmas lights. For this purpose, we will program a microcontroller. Don't freak out yet. For our training purposes, we will call it a small computer for now. On the right side, you can see how our computer looks like. But the main question, what is computer programming? Wasn't it difficult? The simplest answer is to write the code. According to Google, computer programming is defined as writing a sequence of instructions to do a particular job. That's all. So what we need to start? In order to program, we need three major things. The first one is programming language. There are many different programming languages, but we will discuss them in the next tutorials. We will use slightly modified C language called Arduino C. This is all you need to know for now. Ok, but computers don't understand directly C or other languages. That is why we need a compiler to translate our C code to computer's language, which is made only from zeros and ones. And finally, we need a computer to perform the task. Now let's check our first problem. Our first problem is pretty simple. We want to turn on and off an LED every half a second. Take a look on the left how the LED is blinking. Our programming code is on the right. The body of our program is 4 rows only. Let's take a closer look. With first row, we say to computer to turn on the LED connected to pin 13. Second row, basically say don't do anything for half a second, then turn off the LED line number 3, wait half a second, which equals to 500 milliseconds. When it's done with the last row, go back to the first one and start again. That is all. In short, turn on the LED, wait, off, wait, do it again and again. If we want to change how quickly the LED bright, we can change with the number in the bracket after delay function. For example, 1000 equals 1 second. This is all for today innovators, hope you like it, see ya!